Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lynx and welcome back to another great video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an outro on Android. You're going to be needing three apps which are PS Touch, Kind Master, and Fonto. For the first app we're going to be using is Fonto. All you have to do is load up a background image which can be a black background, white background, or a transparent background. Once you have your white background, all you have to do is just click on the pencil on top and write all the text you're going to be using for your outro. For example, let's say I'm going to be using um, previous video. I'm going to write it in all caps. And you might want to like install some custom fonts or you could just use one of the default fonts that you're provided with. Now, if you have a white background, the text must be black. And if you have a black background, the text must be white. Now all you have to do is just click on the save button on the top. All right, so for the next app we're gonna be using, it's PS Touch. Now all you have to do is just click on the little plus button on the bottom. Now click on with and put type in 1280. And on the bottom for height, so type 720. Now we're going to be starting off with the background. Then we're going to be moving on with the text. So for the background, all you have to do is click on fill and stroke. You want to select the color that, the main color that you want. Which could be green, red, blue, any color, any color. I'm going to be going with uh, light green. Now you want to click on the plus sign once again and click on empty layer. Now you want to go on fill and stroke once again and want to change it either to white, black, any secondary color. We're going to be going with white. Now that you have both of your main colors, all you have to do is click on those little arrows on the top and basically transform it a little bit. Place it in the middle, not too big. About there, that's pretty good. That's all you have to do, just basically transform it so the green pops up a little and the white stays in the middle. After you transform the background into the position you want it or the same position I'm doing, you want to go onto FX, go to basic, go to drop shadow, and either leave it on 10 or 8. I'm going to be using 10. Now all you have to do is just click on the square right here. Not the circle, just the square. And you want to kind of get a rectangle shape. Like so. Right there is good. And move it down. So just in case you want text on the top. Right there is pretty good. And all you have to do is just click on cut. Go to FX, go to drop shadow, and you kind of want to put it on probably 5 or 6. I think 8 is pretty good, so I'm going to be leaving it on 8. Now that we're done with the background, all you have to do is do the same thing we did before, which is put 1280 for the width and 720 for the height. So you want to go ahead and load up your text that you used which was mine was previous video and basically all you have to do is just go all the way to the wand click on the white part and in between the text you kind of want to click on the white part as well and click cut After that, all you have to do is click on that square, select pixels, go to the end button, go to gradient, and select that one right there. Go to the paint tool looking thing. And there you go, you have your shiny text. Now all you have to do is repeat that process for the, all of your text you're going to be using on your outro. 
You can do the text however you like. I'm just giving you an example of a shiny text type of look. Once you're done with the text and the background, all you have to do is click on the share button on the top and click save to gallery and make sure to click PNG. And there you go. Now all you have to do is click OK. Final app we're going to be using, which is Kind Masher. All you have to do is just press the plus button, go to empty project, go to media browser, and add a background that you will not be using, which in my case it would be the white background. And drag that all the way to as long as you want, but don't make it too long, but don't make it too short. So around 12 seconds is pretty good. Now go to layer, go to media. Now all you have to do is just basically just make it fit in the frame. Before adding any text whatsoever, make sure you look and find a good song to use for your outro. Alright, so the song that I'm going to be using is Kent Jones, Don't Mind, and I'm going to trim it to the part that I want, so yeah. Now this is where the fun parts begin. So all you have to do is basically go to layer, go to media, find your text that you're going to be using, and I'm going to go with the previous video. Now adjust it to like, I don't know, where you wherever you like it there is pretty good all you have to do is just stretch it out all the way if you want you could just add a little fade but don't do much with the previous video if you if you're adding one or if you're adding your your name on top and towards the ending all you have to do is just go and trim it just a little bit just a little bit right there's good and add an out animation i'm going to be adding another fade same speed of the fade as the beginning and fade in now let's check out the fade out fade out looks perfect for the other text go ahead and click on layer once again but make sure to do it after the previous video pops up so around there and go find your other text all right once you have your text so just listen to the song and go with the beat. I'm going to add it right there. For the animation, I'm going to add it right here in the corner. And for the animation, I'm going to add slide up. And don't make it too slow, just make it about right. We'll add half. There you go, that's pretty good. And for the out animation, um, you can make it slide down, spin, like so I'm going to make it diverge diverge is pretty nice we have to listen to the beat as well so you don't want to make it too long as well just cut it because you need um the other text to pop up as well so you don't want to make it too long but just about right you could add an overall animation but for me, I'm not going to add an overall animation. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Just play around with the animations, basically. I'm going to be showing you how mine looks after I've added all the animation. All right, so I made some adjustment to the text, animation, movement, everything. So this is what it looks so far. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty decent and Now that you have all the animations for your text and everything um, You kind of want to have like at least your Twitter your Facebook um, Instagram whatever you have of social media and add it to the um, side that has nothing Which is to the top right to add the social media icons All you have to do is just download it from Google just look up um, Twitter icon PNG or Facebook icon PNG whatever social media you have just look up look it up but remember to put PNG I'm gonna make it um, medium size around there is pretty good I'm gonna add it a little bit to the right 
move to the left just a normal fade will be good don't do too much animation just a normal fade will be just fine and basically just add the text you can add it straight up from here you don't have to do all the steps you did before just add your twitter information and basically i'm going to make it i'm going to make the text the text black too um put the outline black and add it right next to the twitter logo or whatever logo you have so basically that's how it's going to look and as well um, remember to add the animation. I think I'm going to be putting letter by letter because letter by letter looks pretty good. One. So all you have to do is just repeat that step if you can add any more social medias. Um, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Now all you have to do for the final step to add the video, which is the main part. Just click on layer, click on media, find the video that you want, and basically just adjust it. It's alright if it's like um, a bit too small for it, it's, it's perfectly fine. So once you have adjusted your video onto that square, I mean that rectangle, all you have to do is just lower the volume all the way down from, from 100 to down. So we're basically done with the outro. We've added text, we added looks, we added song, we, had, we added everything on this outro. So you know this outro is fire. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the final results. She telling me this, and telling me that. You say once you take me with you, I never go back. Now I got a lesson that I wanna teach. I'ma show you that way you Hey, that looked fire, didn't it? Anyways, we have reached the end of the video. Hopefully this tutorial helped you at least a little bit. And if it did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Um, for more tutorials like this. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. And peace.